Radiant ten, ten seconds. seconds remaining. Slark. TJ haven't really picked anything that's particularly good against him. Darkseer has a great time against Lifestealer in lane, surge away from the open wounds. Uh, Treant stun is so insignificant early on. Oh, bottom lane, they get the pounce, it's ROTK, no. And he went for TJ and Ara. Oh, this could be real bad for ROTK. Trapped in the kinetic field, caged and dropping the heal, trying to survive, winding his way through the trees. Not going to happen. BP, draw the first. Still not having the easiest time mid, even with the dual lane. He's only very slow. Fenrir might find an opportunity here on the left side. He will. Gets the bash. Will Pasha get denied? No, Fenrir gets the kill. And that is lineups work. It's going to be a different kind of style here. Ramses oh. could be in trouble. They Big have catch. the Omni-Knight heal. Fenrir with the heal bomb and the follow-up damage is there. FY jamming it home. Finally to Shadow Dance, but he survives this pressure. FY comes in from the side. They start to converge, and the pincer attack complete. They'll get the Ramses kill, but do they get out now? RTK has that single point of repel. FY going for the Decrepify, tries for the TP out. Pasha just barely there to cancel that TP. Actually, might have been solo with the glimpse, but either way, vacuum and glimpse. And he will escape. Simultaneously mid, Fenrir looking to set up on no one. And he's going to force his way onto FY, who does have the Decrepify, has the Blast as well. Just going to enrage his way through it. Easily finds that. Well, might have just been a misclick. Because Ursa can't really counter that one. Has to wait it out. Oh, Ramses, this could be bad. Gets he the Bash, probably survive. Oh, and he goes. Fenrir again finding these openings, but the Glimpse will be there to punish still. You know, as much as we all have seen the, the FY prowess in the past. Being this destroyed, looks like he's going to fall back for a Midas is Ramsey's plan here, but that's going to be one of the latest Midas for four of this tournament. All right, aggressive. There's a potential kill as they are going to TP the Omni and this could be a bait. Will no one blink for it? He will. Jumping directly into the Omni Knight and then they spring the trap. Coming in from behind, FY deploys the Nether Blast, then gives the sucky sucky to no one. And now the Remnants forward is going to hold him in place, but still finding a kill. Slight of fist through. Gets finally at long last the Ursa. Now they look for Pasha. Beautiful body blocks by FY. Guy finding them the time they need. They do have a Remnant. Balling his way forward. Chains to follow up. Just now available. And Pasha will fall too. Lil with the TP out. There is in a lot of trouble here. Could get vacuum into crushed here. No overgrowth available just yet. Gets chased and gets crushed. Now the follow up coming through as Pasha will combine. Can they take Fenrir down? Not dead just yet. The vacuum secures it. Meanwhile, no one. Ramses is currently sixth on the network. And both Omni Knight and especially the Life gets there. Midas is before him, but they've caught RTK in the static storm. RTK going to drop. Really get greedy. Gonna heal himself up with the living armor. In comes the Omni. Oh, Will so survive. Big miss on the pounce there from Ramsey's. Now mid uses. lane. This time the self decrepify from FY. Keeping himself healthy. No one on the chase though. The back back into the claws. Gets the kill. Freeze. Has arrived. Has the bill. And will debut it here though. Not to critical acclaim, but just a uh, little chip damage on the earth. So. Really wants that extra five gold from the Darkseer wall. Bottom lane has the Midas. Gets it off. Solo though is about to get Static Storm. Same trap, different part of the map. Again, RTK down for the count. Getting picked off repeatedly. You think of Omni Knight as a move. It's towards top. Fenrir, as always, the watchful eye setting up. And oh, another no. TP. Another punch stun combination. Pasha in all kinds of trouble, even in follow up bash. Just to really rub it in. Vici get the kill again. This tree. I'm going to get eyes on this observer ward, but doesn't really want to hit it. I want to give this jig up, and the Roach will fall. So VP, a gamble that pays off. They grab the Aegis now. They look to get out safely. Solo might pay for this with his life. He drops the Static Storm, and it's right as Freeze commits into it, but oh, they're not going to go for it. That would have been way too far, and now the follow-up kills. Lil goes down, too, so it's three kills overall. Also completed a Diffusal Blade, so got some tools now to deal with that. Omni Knight, the Living Armor, the Flame Guard, and Fenrir. Well, don't even need to purge him when he walks around. We'll get denied aggressive. I believe it was the top. Oh, he's gonna get back here mid. No Static Storm, though. What's happening here? Solo didn't cast it. Static Storm finally dropped, but a bit too late, and now Freeze moving in deeper, remnanting one way and then back the other as he tries to close in on Pasha. It's only a level one slight, though, so very long cooldown. That no chance of a follow-up. So and for looking for the Pasha. jump initiation. No one's coming in from the north, and they are going to converge on FY first. It looks like the back is there. The crush comes through. On top of it all is the Earth, so they've infested into a creep. But this creep in trouble. Lifestealer now in danger as well. He's going to pop out. He's done for. It's three. Clean. 
completely into this game. He'd be in trouble though, speaking of it. He's gonna start off with a bash. Follow up. Overgrowth. Is it there? He gets it off. Oh, the combo okay. comes from Fiji Gaming! Holy mother of God! The heal, the follow up veil, and all kinds of damage with the pug that the crep too. Just battering them. But now, DP say, you've got a wombo combo. We do too. It's the Thunderdome. The cage has been set and finally aggressive joining the fight. They haven't gotten the kills though. RTK survives. He's able to turn things around with the Guardian Angel, and the chase goes out. Four will fall. DP biting a little off more than they can chew. And now, gonna lose solo. The quintuple take. Down is all Vichy's. Very well. Uh, Pugna is a bit of a special case, but has been doing a great job and is the type of support that can turn into a core. We've got trouble mid though. All the vacuum actually catches all TK. He wanted to save it the day, but instead he might lose his own life. Not able to keep the Ember in fighting shape. Doesn't have to buy back either. No one though. Getting focused. Fenrir there with the bash, but not enough follow up damage. No one survives. Finally they'll bring him down in aggressive. Pounding Lil on the retreat. Wants to finish off the fish. Brings him back and turns him into sushi. Still the trade though. Leaping into the fray is Pasha. But nobody can deal with this life stealer. Nobody can deal with these tree bashes. Ramsey says, I shall try, but trying is not gonna be. Thanks, Purge. Are you blaming Purge for the state of tree and protector? Oh, here we go. Static Storm dropped early, but no follow up. Could have been an interesting turnaround, but with Repel and with a life stealer being as tanky as that. Hero openings not available. Another ward is ready again. And if you go Ensign and you clump up, Fenrir is there with the counterplay. RTK could be too. You've got to be really careful about how you initiate. As they try to deal with the Nether Ward, but even that gets to Crypt fight. Free starts the fight. He's going to panic Remnant away. Now the chase on to FY. They do get the crush. Where's the counterplay? It's Fenrir trying to jump in, but he blinks into the Static Storm. He doesn't get the overgrowth off in time. They've lost the Aegis. They've lost the Omni Knight. Can they take the fight from here? Freeze roars back in. He does bring Lil Low. He finds one in the form of a Disruptor. He's already Static Storm. He has the life still inside him, so he's got to be careful not to stick around too long. He's overstayed his welcome, or at least FY has four staff back on the retreat. Jumping in. Freeze just doesn't want to give up the fight. The Remnant forward secures the kill, but Aggressive does get bashed. Walks through the wall and walks into Doom and now onto Freeze. Tries to survive. He can't. The Bash ends it too. Then Rare not able to finish up Rams. He's so low. A it's only maybe. But those two heroes are screwed. Oh, they're not done yet. FY just struts out mid all on his lonesome. Here, Pugna Pugna. He's going to decrepify himself. Tries to stay alive. Not for long, sir. Ramsey's 30 essence shift. And really, where is the firepower to deal with that? Like, Lifestealer 1v1 just is. Not gonna be able to focus him down as on. bottom lane. Ember Spirit annihilated. Again, these disruptor ults. Solo has been all over the place setting up kills. Moving forward, looking for RTK. They don't have the silence for him, but they can just try to muscle him down with physical damage. Will he be forced to use the Guardian Angel on the retreat? He worms his way around the trees, but he gets glimpsed back, and they are gonna catch him! RTK down again. He has They're very scared right now showing when they start making these plays with the pill and rage just to hit the creep right there. Ramsey's they starting to build up stacks. Got two. Oh, they're here gonna we go. jump in and they're gonna start the party. Catching out FY and the Pugna. Four staff saves the day before the kinetic field's able to kick in, but no one says I don't care and he keeps on diving. There's the wall, the crush, connects on everyone. VG Gaming though, surviving through it all. They are getting off the key defensive ults, keeping them in fighting shape, but where's the damage? Where's the firepower? Ramsey's just starting to eat into freeze, getting those essence shift stacks. Even though they survive, they get the whole complement of abilities off. They need more, and here it comes. The overgrowth, freeze is there. The great wall holds. VG Gaming surviving for now, and they remnant forward. Chivas as well. Ramsey's on the back foot. Lil falls. Four down. Just like that. Ken on the overgrowth. And later in the fight when the BKBs are down, that's where Freeze really starts to hurt with the, you know, this magic damage focus build as they dive. Looking for more. Jumping onto Solo. But Freeze, ooh, barely able to make it out. Did have the repel there. So not affected by this static storm. We'll make it back to safety. They continue their siege. The blink in from Fenrir. He's almost got overgrowth ready. All of a sudden, Vici Gaming are banging on the front door. Can they finish off the racks here? A little close. No cigar. Aggressive pops out. He hasn't actually hit the melee, but FY is going to ensure that they walk away with an app control. Still trailing a bit in terms of the, the raw numbers, and now it's Pasha trying to find those stagger kills. Fenrir ro rotating back, but Lil drops low to the magic damage. The burst is there. The remnant forward. Freeze secures it. 
coming back in the clutch. He will get caught, though, by the Ursa to the rescue of Fenrir, as well as RTK. They give him the Repel. He's low on mana, but he's going to have the Blink Suit. Can they keep him locked down? They need to keep on poking him with that slide. Chasing forward. He slides. He remnants. He's going to make it out. The BKBs are wasted. The kiting continues, and now they turn back. They want Ramses. They want that pesky fish, man. They force him away. Fenrir leaping in. He didn't have the vision to get the bash, but Vici Gaming start to outplay VP down the stretch here, and now they've got them on the run. They damage no one. They chase forward. RTK's there, but now the combo! Vacuum! Static Storm! Absolute destruction! VG Gaming! The door slams shut and cuts the- Searching for a lane here. There are three buybacks available. Lifestealer, though, won't have one, and he is really their damage. Without him, seems unlikely they're going to kill these heroes, especially when BKBs are up, so they're going to have to sacrifice a lane. Melee down bottom. Can they hang on until mid? Tier 3 about to drop. VP continue searching for the second lane. They're going to get the melee here too. Beachy Gaming decide to fall behind in racks just to ensure they'll have an extra round of buybacks for any potential fight, but room for error. Should they should they lose one more fight, heroes get caught dying back. Game is over with this many racks down. They're going to initiate. On to no one they go. The catch was attempted on FY and they go straight for the tier threes. No hesitation by VP. They need to find these kills. RTK blinking in. Charging forward right into no one. Very close to dropping and now the back. The static storm again. VP say no. Get the hell out of here VG. The buybacks instantly. Can they turn it on round number two? Aggressive, not able to find anyone. They just barely chain Lil, but the follow-up isn't there. They're gonna blink forward. Remnant even as well. He's packing the life stealer. He's brought him into certain doom, it seems. Getting mauled by Ramses from one direction. Unable to finish off solo. He turns back the other way. Tries to take that 1v4, and it just ain't happening for VG. VP, fantastic teamwork down the stretch here. As they turn on to Freeze, they look to focus him down. A couple more kills, and the game will be theirs. A slot in the top four secured. Slowly but surely, bringing even Freeze down. The claws continue to work. FY desperately trying to hold on, but their life flashes before their eyes. No buybacks, no chance. VP have done it. They take the series and stay alive to the final day. So many exceptional plays in this game. I'm a Darkseer fan myself. I love the...